Welcome to my channel. I am Callie and I'm so glad you're with me today. If you're back, thank you so much for watching my videos every Friday. I know that you have so many different options, but I'm so glad you clicked on my video. And I just made my green protein smoothie and I'm going to tell you guys what I put in it and how it affects my diet in a good way. But to start off, I use maca powder and maca powder is a really good for balancing your hormones and that is what I really need right now because I have, it's not really bad, I think it's really bad, but I'm getting hormonal acne during the week of my monthly cycle. So then I try to incorporate maca powder into my diet because it just helps balance those levels. And then I also have my Vega Sport Protein, which has turmeric in it, and that is also really good for acne because turmeric really helps with inflammation of the skin. But it also helps with inflammation like cellulite or the inflammation in acne. So I try to incorporate those two things in my daily smoothie because it really helps. And then I just cut up half to three-fourths of a zucchini and then added ice and then almond milk so it is low carb and that is what this video is going to be today so I'm just going to be sipping on that during this video but I wanted to talk to you guys about this strict 10 day diet that I'm on it is completely low carb and if you guys have watched my previous videos I talked about me being on a low carb diet for the most part and how I've seen good results with it but I really just wanted to talk to you guys about this 10 day to two week cycle that I'm doing on strict low carb okay I need to give you guys a disclaimer real quick because this diet is definitely not for everybody I am in no way telling you guys to go out and try a low carb diet. Definitely consult your doctor and look at your eating habits, look at your body and look at your goals and see what you are trying to achieve because this diet, I'm not going to lie, it gets pretty hard at times if you are constantly eating carbs. So be careful, do your research, see if this diet is the best for yours. The main reason I am doing this 10 week to 10 week, <laughs> I'm not doing a 10 week diet, no. The main reason I am doing this 10 day to 2 week diet is because I am going on vacation in a couple weeks and this makes me feel so much better and what I just said before, I am struggling with hormonal acne right now. I am just really experimenting to see if cutting out sugars and cutting out, I'm also cutting out dairy but you can definitely have dairy on a low carb diet, I'll get into that more. But I am honestly just seeing if going on a low carb diet will help my hormonal acne. And usually the sugars that I would normally eat are like the sugars in grapefruit or fruit. So that is like my main source of carbs during my regular lifestyle. But I'm cutting that out completely for the next 10 days. I'm actually on day four right now. So I'm actually into it a little bit. And honestly, I can tell you it makes me feel so good like about my body and about my health. And plus like when you're not eating those carbs, it I just feel more energetic. But it definitely does take a couple days if you are just getting started. But I already was eating a pretty healthy lifestyle, so it was really not a big deal cutting out the sugars and fruits because that was my main source of carbs. 
but I just really needed to nail down and that is what this video is going to be about. I'm going to talk all about the do's and don'ts of the low carb diet, explain the low carb diet a little bit more if you don't already know, and then I am going to be talking about the foods I mainly am eating, which is the protein shake. I try to have something like that daily because I really need my maca powder and my turmeric, my protein, and that is perfect. That is my lunch for today, so I'm super excited about that. I'm going to be, I, I totally forgot about it until just now, so I'm super excited for that. So if that is something you guys are interested in, go ahead and keep on watching. But honestly, before, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I really appreciate it. And so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos I post every Friday. Give me a big like if you enjoy this video in some way or if you're just watching it just to watch it. Or if you don't have any desire to start a low-carb diet and you're just watching this just because. Thank you so much. And with that being said, let's just get right into it. Okay, so first things first, what the heck is a low-carb diet? Well, a low carbohydrate diet means that you are completely, not quite completely, but almost cutting out all the carbohydrates in the diet and just focusing on eating fats and proteins. It is called a low carb diet, a keto diet, Atkins diet, or a low carb high fat diet. Anything within that realm, if you hear someone talking about it, it is pretty much the same exact thing. So when you are on a low carb diet, the main things you're cutting out are starchy carbs like potatoes, breads, pasta, no rice, beans, potatoes, anything like that. You are completely cutting out your carbs. And along with carbs, I was just talking about fruits and cutting out fruits is so hard. So fruits are carbs and sugar, but they are natural sugars. So they are good in your everyday day-to-day -day life. But since I'm doing this strict low carb diet, I cut out sugars completely and that involves fruits, which suck because I love grapefruit and blueberries and strawberries. So that's really hard, but it's doable. I can do it. I'm fine. But anyway, the main reason the low carb diet works is be because your blood sugar stabilizes and the fat level hormone insulin drop. And that is why your body burns the fat. So I find that whenever your blood sugar is stabilized, the your hormonal acne isn't as bad. That is what I have found for me. So I am trying that in this diet just so it can try to help with that. So some of the foods you can eat are eggs, meat, veggies, dairy. My main meals revolve around having meats as protein. I completely cut out dairy, which is really not ideal for this time, but cutting out dairy helps with your acne. So I am trying that. So that is really hard. So I basically eat meat and veggies, nuts, and then protein shakes. That That is what my meals are revolving around. I have said in my other videos that I try to maintain a healthy lifestyle and then like when I'm specifically doing a diet is for vacation or when I am getting ready for a photo shoot. I just want to reiterate that is why I'm doing the strict diet is because I am going on vacation and I want my skin to clear up. So I just want to reiterate that main purpose but other than a strict diet I just try to maintain a healthy lifestyle in my everyday life. So I just wanted to get that out there so we are all clear. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, this almost just slipped my mind, but the average amount of carbohydrates you can have on a low carb diet is anywhere between 20 to 30 grams of carbs. I'm trying to stick to 20 to 25 grams of carbs. So that is my current ideal day-to-day -day carbohydrate intake, but I just want to give you guys a little bit of an example if you don't know. In one banana, you have 27 grams of carbs, just one banana. So that means if I ate one banana, my diet will be completely ruined for the day. I don't wanna say ruined because it's fine. I love bananas and it's fine if you have carbs because they are a great source of energy. But with what I'm doing right now, it would ruin my diet pretty much. But then a baked potato has 36 grams of carbs in it. And then your average Starbucks Frappuccino has almost 67 grams of carbs and sugar in it. So that just gives you a little bit of an idea how hard the low carb diet can be if you are eating those things regularly. So if you are wanting to get into this diet, please, please consult a doctor or do your own research because it is extremely hard at first. I don't know if you've heard of the keto flu, but that is when you completely cut off all carbs within the first week and you get headaches, you feel sick, you feel low on energy, and that is because you are used to all those carbs in your body. And when you automatically cut out all those carbs, your body 
is shocked. You are not used to it at all. So if you just give it a couple weeks, I promise you will start to see the difference in your body and you will start to see the change. So if you just give it a couple weeks, that is so important. Like don't give up on the first week if you are trying to do this diet. So now I'm gonna go into the don'ts of the diet. So don't number one is don't count the total amount of carbs. You're probably like, what the heck girl, what are you talking about? But whenever I say don't count the total amount of carbs, that means you are supposed to be counting the total amount of net carbs. This gets confusing, but I'm gonna show you guys my bars that I eat. Okay, so these are Atkins bars, and in one Atkins chocolate granola bar, there are three grams of net carbs. So let's look at this. So per one bar, there are 210 calories, but that does not matter, so who cares. There is a total carb count of 17 grams of carbs, but there are 6 grams of dietary fiber, 1 gram of sugar, which is good, and then there is 8 grams of glycerin in there. The thing is, you can take the total amount of carbs, you can subtract the dietary fiber, because that's ultimately fiber, you will poop it out, that does not matter, and then the glycerin. So you subtract those two to the total amount of carbs, and then you get the net carbs, because that is what you are really ultimately focusing on. So it does say, glycerin is naturally sourced from vegetables and gives our bars a soft texture. Glycerin and fiber should be subtracted from the total carbs since they minimally impact blood sugar. That is what we are looking for here. So that's why they make certain products like this that are so great in counting the net carbs. So that is something to look at if you are on this diet. Okay, don't number two is do not skip out on water. Water is ultimately the best thing for any kind of diet. So if you are hungry, go ahead, drink a whole mason jar of water before you eat your meal because you will stay fuller for longer since the water does expand your stomach. That is perfect for feeling more full because since you aren't eating carbs in this diet, you will be hungry sometimes if you are a beginner. So definitely do not skip out on the water. Okay, don't number three is do not overlook the sneaky carbs. You do not want to be overlooking the added sugars and make sure you know how to read a label because the calories aren't the same thing as carbs. They have nothing to do with each other in my opinion. So definitely know how to read a label, know how to read the carbs and just like I showed you guys with the dietary fiber, make sure you subtract it and know how to read the label. And do not overlook the serving sizes and don't overlook the sneaky carbs. Okay, don't number four do not obsess over the scale. We are all prone to this, I feel like. We all do this, but your weight naturally varies three to four pounds on a day-to-day -day basis, so do not obsess over weighing yourself. Maybe weigh yourself once every two weeks or once a week if you can, because that is so important. Do not obsess over the scale, guys. Okay, now on to the do's of the low-carb diet. Do number one is record your progress. This is so important for figuring out how many carbs you have left throughout the day. I talked to you guys in my last video about me just getting the MyFitnessPal app, but I have found that it wasn't good with counting carbs, so I switched over to an app called Carb Manager. And it works so well because all you have to do is input what you're eating and then it gives you the count of the total carbs and the net carbs you're eating. So that is really good for keeping track and seeing how many carbs you have left throughout the day. It helps me out so much because just seeing it written down makes me more accountable and it makes me want to eat more and more healthy. Do number two is taking progress photos. This honestly can make or break your diet because just seeing the change in your body it tremendously increases your accountability. But just seeing your own progress photos just does something that nothing else can. So definitely be taking progress pictures because that is so important whenever you are a couple weeks in because you will see dramatic changes. I am not kidding. Okay, do number three is finding motivation. When you are beginning this journey, do not forget to write down your goals and what you want to achieve. And then I also love looking to Pinterest because there are so many fitspo 
accounts and there are so many fitspo images that i just keep in my phone because whenever i'm having a hard day i just like to look back and just think about why i am doing this and what i'm wanting to achieve with my face and my body so definitely seek out motivation if you are having a bad day okay guys that is all i have for you today I cannot stress enough, but whatever works for my body may not work for yours. So do your research even more before you go on a diet like this. Consult a doctor, whatever you have to do, because I do not know what your eating style is like or what your health style is. So don't just go off of me. Go ahead and do your own research as well. But this is just what works for me and my body and how I feel. And it just makes me feel so good. So that is why I'm doing this. But thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate it. Make sure you are subscribed and give me a big like if you enjoyed this video. But with that being said, I'll see you next Friday. Bye!